As we celebrate Christmas, please join us in reflecting on the Nativity story from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Joseph went up from Galilee to the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem. Because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with a child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Messiah and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Hi, I'm Father John Karchi. I'm the rector here at Mundelein Seminary. In one of his Christmas homilies, Cardinal John Henry Newman used a beautiful image for the Incarnation. He said it's like God sending a spy into a foreign country. Jesus comes in very quietly and unassumingly to an unassuming family in a very humble place. And then he slowly, with barely being noticed, transforms from the inside out, changing hearts and minds over 30 years in Nazareth. You just heard our seminarians reciting the Christmas story from the Gospel of Luke. In no small way, what Jesus did is what seminarians and parish priests are called to do, often in an unassuming way, going into parishes, sometimes quietly, sometimes more loudly, but helping to transform minds and hearts, bringing them closer to God. Over the next couple of weeks at Christmas break, our seminarians will be going home to try and do just that. And one day, God willing, they'll spend the rest of their lives as parish priests on that same mission. This Christmas season, you can be sure that our seminarians and all of us here at Mundelein will be keeping you in prayer. Please do the same for us and have a blessed Christmas.